we haven't normally gotten things like this this late in the calendar. I mean, it's February 18th is the date of the show, and Jalen or Jaden Daniels, the quarterback for Arizona State, has announced that he is entering the transfer portal. Now, again, that does not necessarily mean that he is going to leave, but more signs point to him going than not, right? There's just so much chaos going on inside the Sun Devils program. I First, I want to get your thoughts on this, and then maybe we can you know, take a, a gander at where he might end up. Uh, thoughts are, I think this is a play for um, a championship, or a, at least a run at it. I think he sees the pieces there and uh, around the Pac-12, and he believes there's no chance of him winning the title where he's at. Uh, in his time remaining in college. I think he thinks he has the ability to do that, or at least to, to compete at big boy football. Um, and uh, the other thing is, is national television. <clears throat> I think if if I can't play for a title, I at least want to be on national TV all the time. Kyler Murray never had a chance to play for a title. Tyler Murray, you know, his teams at Oklahoma were never winning a championship. But, they were on national TV a whole lot, and he went number one overall. And I think Jay Daniels realizes, man, I bet a lot of these damn people in the country don't know who I am, and I'm one of the best quarterbacks on the planet right now. And uh, and it's just a matter of I need eyeballs on me. That that would certainly make sense. Uh, it, it could also be the the whole situation of he still needs to be developed. I mean, there were still mistakes that were made. Last year, and, and of course the years before that, he was still such a raw prospect. And I don't know how much development was being done at Arizona State. Like they, Their offense is very Wisconsin-like. There's a lot of running the football, a lot of counting on your offensive line to get things done for you, a lot of pushing people around and whatnot. And he is a dynamic playmaker. If he can ever get everything wrapped up into one nice little package, he could be a, an NFL uh, you know, draft day guy. He could be a first-round prospect if he can go to the right place where he will be developed. And the places that you would normally think that he would go, uh, you know, it, it, at least where quarterbacks would want to go, have kind of already got their guys, right? The well, not everybody. There's a ton of places in the country, I think, that, you know, that he could still be able to go to and find the ability to play. Oh, yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, but, it, you know, your Lincoln Rileys and your it, it, the places where you go to be an NFL quarterback, such as for Lane Kiffin at Ole Miss, et cetera, uh, even Oklahoma with Jeff Levy. Like, they've already got their guy for this season. Now, obviously, you may come in and want to uh, spruce up the competition a little bit, something like that. But if you're Daniels, why would you hey, go hey, somewhere? Hey, hey. You, don't, you, don't, you don't think that uh, – uh, Little Biles at Arkansas couldn't do that with that offense. You don't. You don't think a, a, a DC like or an OC like that can't can't do that? Has an offense that's super quarterback friendly and um, puts up a bunch of stats. And also in the SEC West, where you're gonna have a shitload of games on national TV. And don't get me wrong, you don't, I you don't absolutely. Brian, so. You don't think Brian? You don't think Brian Kelly can do that? Now that's somebody that I was gonna bring up. Places, these places don't have quarterbacks that anybody's super married to. But it, 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 hang on, I, I would I, I'd give you three or four other places in the SEC that that aren't married to their guy that he's probably better than or good enough at least to compete with. Yeah, no, 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 you're not wrong about that. Arkansas, and that's just you know, the SEC man, we haven't even dove into the other conferences. So I'll, I'll read off. There's 15 potential transfer destinations for Jaden Daniels. Uh, Athlon Sports has already put it out. You know, it, it, he could decide to return back to Arizona State, obviously. Uh, the first one on their list, though, was California. Now, they've already added Jack Plummer from uh, from Purdue this offseason, but, I, I mean, he would be an obvious upgrade there. But at the same time, like, I know that he is uh, he's from California, and that would kind of be a, a return close to home, but... What development is being done at Cal? And like you said, how yeah. many eyeballs are going to be on him there? Nah, yeah. You go to Cal, You everything I said is not, not correct at all. Right. If he chose Cal 
everything I just said, you can throw out the window. He doesn't care about playing on national TV. He doesn't care about playing for a title. And with you, he doesn't care about being developed for an NFL quarterback. He just wants to go home. True, true. Uh, get team number two on this list, LSU. Now, Miles Brennan, the uh, projected starter for Brian Kelly's first season, but uh, but there's no depth behind him. Brennan has been a backup in the past. I don't know that Brennan was coming back specifically to be the starter. Uh, you know, I I think this could be an option for him because you're going to have a ton of games on TV. Uh, you'll be there for BK's first season. I well, That could certainly work. So I'll tell you this. I know for a fact Miles was absolutely coming back to be the starter. I think Miles came back because he saw – the landscape at LSU, and he saw what was going on, and he thought, "Oh, I could, I can be the starter here." And and I, you know, this would upset Miles. This would, you know, suck for Miles. But you know, the the better thing for LSU would be to bring James back. James yeah, that would that back. would certainly make sense. That would certainly make sense. Uh, Missouri, another team on here. Tigers have three options right now: Brady Cook, uh, Tyler Macon, and Sam Horn. They're all going to be battling for that starting nod. Uh, they don't have a ton of experience. Any of those guys, Daniels would be an upgrade so, immediately. And, and we're, you know, these are all SEC schools, but there's other places that he could go and, and be just as good and get just as many eyeballs. So, and, so and, hey, and, I've, yeah. I've got one. I've got I've got the very next one for you. All right, Penn State. I think yeah, that we I mean, know. Yeah, we know what Sean Clifford is, right? I don't think we. You yeah. know, you could kind of push Sean Clifford. A little bit bridge the gap between Clifford and uh, and the freshmen that are coming in because they've got like a, a massive freshman that's coming in. I yeah, that could absolutely be a spot for him to go and you know maybe take that team to heights that they haven't seen in a few years. Yeah, but, but, I mean to, to say all of those spots have been filled is just a ridiculous statement. Okay, that's just, yeah. that's an insane statement. Um, they've got a, a few others, UCLA, but, you know, DTR's there. Uh, Daniel's hometown is San Bernardino. It's not far from LA. So, you know, if he's, if that's part of the thing, if he's really wanting to go home, okay. Uh, West Virginia, Daniel's might not be the best fit under Graham Harrell, who's the new OC. Um, you know, Wisconsin, they were in the mix for Caleb Williams, uh, but that, I think that Caleb Williams situation was a lot to do with Bobby Ingram coming in as the new uh, OC, right? There was a family connection I mean, there. I, that, I mean, okay, but at the end of the day, he would be a massive upgrade for Wisconsin. If you're Wisconsin, you'd still do it. And if you're Jaden Daniels, like, you, that's still a good deal for you. That's a better deal than Arizona State. True, true. Uh, Florida State. Yeah, I mean, that'd be huge. It'd be huge. I think it'd be huge, too. Uh, no, along- it'd be massive. In Mike Norvell's system, hell yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, Iowa State, uh, you know, Hunter Deckers is there now. He's set to take over now that Brock Purdy is gone. But uh, you know, maybe the Cyclones Purdue or excuse me, pursue a uh, a proven quarterback. Uh, they've got Oklahoma on here. Uh, they've got New Mexico on here. Like, I, it's not neither of those. I believe, like, maybe Oklahoma works if Dylan Gabriel's not healthy. Maybe. Um, nah, but D- Dylan Gabriel's fine. Dylan's yeah. Fine. Uh, they've got Virginia Tech on this list, but they've already taken two transfers. Uh, I know they took Grant Wells and they took Jason Brown. Grant Wells, of course, from Marshall, and he is a stud, absolute stud. Um, I, I don't think Virginia Tech fits. San Diego State has already added Braxton Burmeister from Virginia Tech, but Daniels would certainly work at San Diego State. But I, again, you're going to a place that is is known for defense. Offense, there's not a whole lot of development going on there. Eh, you know. Okay, and then they've got Syracuse on here. Like, I, I, I'm, I think my, I think my favorite one out of all of these would be either Penn State or LSU. Well, those are the two biggest out of all of them. I mean, by far. But also, I think those are jobs that uh, that one he can win would have a lot of eyeballs on him, and I think that he could develop under those two coaching staffs. Uh, I don't know about development at Penn State. Have we ever seen anything from them that they're just putting NFL quarterbacks out? No, no, but they've got you okay. know a, a new offensive coordinator in there, and and they seem to they do a little a bit better this year. Players so. that anybody's really excited about. I mean, I mean they got they got some I dudes. Would, I would take so many of those other jobs over Penn State. 
Penn State's the one if you want to compete for a national title and you want to be on the national stage, it's fine. But development and getting drafted, you're you're not going to have a ton of highlight reels with that receiving core compared to some of these other jobs that you could go to, um, uh, places that you could go to and compete at. And uh, uh, plenty of other offensive minds, I think, are known far better than, than Franklin. Yeah, you might be right. You might be right. Uh, outside of LSU, you got a favorite uh, somewhere that you would like for him to go? Uh, I mean, I, you know, I wouldn't mind seeing him at uh, uh, Arkansas. I'm not kidding. Yeah, him in, in Browse's offense could be outstanding. Now, K.J. Jefferson, uh, the incumbent starter, but – Again, I, I think he's better than than KJ Jefferson. I know, I know. Sam, I know Sam made a big, big Sam Pittman coach, head coach Arkansas, made a big deal after the first year of not going to the transfer portal and trusting KJ. And I love KJ, okay. And I think KJ is a, is a really good quarterback. But but after a year, where you realize, oh, this team's a little bit better than I thought they were. You know, nobody had any expectations last year. And so they were just a good story. Now this year, no, they, they, they had a lot of expectations. And expectations might change the idea that we don't hit the transfer portal and we go after somebody who's real dynamic, who, who might be able to do something special here at Arkansas this year. Now you, you certainly make a very That's good point That's the problem Sam's going to have, is, is if you want to be loyal, loyal is great. But at some point in time, you know, last year was the greatest year Arkansas fans have had in a long, long time. But now expectations come. And if you do the same thing you did last year, you did not meet expectations. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com. And if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures. Or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe. And we'll see you soon.